Hey everybody, Dr. Diane here. In this video, we're gonna be talking about microbes, mental health, gastrointestinal tract, and I wanna bring awareness in particular to a microorganism that can overgrow in the intestinal tract. This particular microorganism is called Provitella. Provitella is something that when you run functional stool cultures on, like lab tests looking at the health of the microbiome, Provitella is an organism that classically functional doctors will test for, but conventional doctors don't tend to test for this, this presence of this microorganism. Now, there's studies that have shown that this organism has been linked when it's overgrowing, and when we see a large amount of it in the intestinal tract, it's been linked to things like depression, so there's a huge mental health link. It's also really linked to autoimmune disease. And remember also with mental health and autoimmune disease, one of the things that can happen when our immune system gets dysregulated and we start creating this immune reaction where our immune system starts attacking our own tissues, one of the tissues that actually can get attacked is the brain. So we want to make sure that we're considering not just autoimmune disease of the thyroid, where the thyroid's under attack from our immune system, but also the brain and other areas. In another video I made, I talk about short-chain fatty acids. Short-chain fatty acids are a byproduct of the good bacteria in our body making or eating the fiber that we eat and they make these short chain fatty acids and short chain fatty acids do a ton of things from providing fuel to places like the colon to helping with the brain's blood brain barrier stabilization and a lot more. And we actually see that when we have a overgrowth of this microorganism Provitella, that short chain fatty acids go down. Remember short chain fatty acids keep the blood brain barrier strong, help with uh, our cells and our large intestine working and working properly and having the energy to test. So it really becomes pretty important that our Provitella does not, we don't have an overgrowth of this microorganism because autoimmune disease can happen, depression can happen, a lowering of short chain fatty acids, and then all the subsequent reactions we get from that. Check on my check out my video on short chain fatty acids in this channel to learn more on that. But that's one that I just wanted to bring a level of insight to because it is related to mental health, it is related to healthy brain function and, and immune function and all this, and it's not an organism that is commonly tested for on conventional stool cultures. You really need to work with a functional doc who's running a better stool culture in order to get something like this actually measured. So. Again, Dr. Diane doing, this is April, doing a special on questions from the Microbes and Mental Health Summit that I was just the host of. Please do subscribe to this channel if this is valuable information so you can stay up to date. Comment if you have any ideas for me or questions for me on new content you wanna see on here. And please don't keep me a secret. Please tell, tell your friends about me. It really helps me get this information out to people that, that need this information. All right, everybody, see you next time.